Welcome back. You know, when it comes to parenting, do you feel like you hover over your kids or do you let them roam free? Or maybe you're kind of in the middle. Whatever your style, you are definitely not alone. That's what we learned in today's Momversation. Ladies, I want to know your parenting style when it comes to that. What's interesting, I mean, we parent our kids differently, right? Each kid yes. is kind of parented a little bit yes. differently. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. You agree sure. with that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, and it might could... change given well, like, what's going on. Right. Yeah. I could look at Connor and he just, he's done. <laughs> he's done. AJ is a totally different <laughs> scenario. He's not, he don't care. He don't care how I look at him. He's like, what are you like, going to do to me? That's nice. <laughs> nice look. Yeah, I'll fight you, lady. That's what he says. <laughs> Looking at these faces, and I know we are not free range no. parents. No. No. Maybe the husbands might be, but these ladies yeah. certainly yeah. aren't. <laughs> helicopter? Are there a few helicopters here? Um, Low flying helicopters? Maybe, maybe a little bit of a helicopter <laughs> with the four year old, only because I know she will cut off her hair on her own. Oh my gosh. Like she did. Is like she, she a stick did. fire? <laughs> yeah. You call it the Texas tornado. Oh. She just will go in. She does what she wants. She wants to take, you know, scissors, cuts paper everywhere, just kind of goes through the house. And I got to watch her. I got to watch her because she'll, she, she'll try to take a knife and cut her own sandwich, you know, and she's four. So she's that's not gonna work. trying to be independent. Right. That's not yeah. going to work. <laughs> we just have to watch her. Yeah. So I kind of hover over Leora. Uh, permissive or authoritative. Where are we at? With well, you know, it's bad when my, so my nine-year-old told me, like I'm, I'm telling my five-year-old, you can't do that. Okay, then I said, you don't get your tablet tomorrow. And then my nine-year-old says, but mom, you actually have to follow through. Oh. I'm not giving oh. the tablet tomorrow. And I was like, oh. okay. All right. Hey, okay. don't say that in front of her. I know. <laughs> That's a, psst, hey mom, step right, over here exactly. moment. I have a feeling like all of us are kind of a little helicoptery just because of the bit. world and kind of the things that we yeah, see. Yeah. yeah, well I think that's a huge part of it. When you work in the news and you hear absolutely every Everything. worst story that you can hear, yes. it really messes with how you look at your kids. And you're right. like, oh my goodness, but this could happen, that could happen, this could at happen. At any moment. Yeah, at any moment. And you're like, okay, take a take a breath. Oh, there are good people out there, you're gonna be okay. Yeah. But I do think that it changes how people in the news parent kids because mm -hmm. it's just you hear all these stories and it's impossible to to you know get it out of your head right and I do think you know we grew up in a time where it would you know we were playing outside until it was dark yeah mm -hmm. we would be riding our bikes or we'd be roller skating and we're yep. you know oh I gotta go I think my mom's calling mom's me calling. or you know right. and I mean I would never do that well, uh, right <laughs> no I'm like I can't see no. you you are yeah. not going anywhere yeah, right. yeah. that yeah. is so crazy mm -hmm. I remember like getting dropped off at the mall Yes. yes. Right. Uh, never doing that. Right. right. I went to a movie theater at 13. No. no. Yeah, I mean, Connor's Definitely 13. No. Never. You wouldn't let now. your kid go to the movie theater at 13? I mean, I'll if probably be... If you drop him off and you pick him up? I'll be two rows no. behind him. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying I'll be the sitting theater. there. Yep, I'll like, be in the theater. I think, I mean, we're so far away from 13. So I right. think that's also hard because yeah. if you're not in it, you right. know, yeah. I think your perspective changes. I think I would sit in the back of the theater, though. I'd be like, For okay, sure. if you want to... Because, I mean, at 13... <laughs> I mean, I had a boyfriend. I don't know. Now we're going to get... Oh, my God! Wait a minute. You had a boyfriend at 13? Oh, yeah. I think my what first boyfriend happening? was, like, fourth grade. Oh, but I mean, You're not that was like, kidding, we were, right? You know. <laughs> Courtney is shocked. Everybody's probably shocked. Because I'm kind of known as, like, the goody-goody. But, um, you know, I I went to a movie. I went and saw Titanic with my boyfriend at 13. Titanic! Oh, wow. That's a date There's movie. A scene. Right. No, no. I'm shocked at you. No, now the that would be Amy, not all you. All these emails. Well, I mean, didn't everybody have a boyfriend at 13? I don't think Sorry. so. Boyfriend, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Back then, it was somebody that you held their hand and they so were your best driving friend. around. Yeah. It's a lot different right. than what boyfriends are considered these Today. days. Exactly. I mean, yeah. You know, but yeah, I mean, I I went to the movies, but I really don't think I'd be comfortable with that now. No, I think I would I mean, just hang out in the back of the theater just to make sure that they were okay. Yeah. And, you know, Connor's 13. If he literally came to me tomorrow and said, hey, mom, I'm going to go to the movies with a girl, uh, no, you're not. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't think so. I feel, like, I feel like I would be okay with the movies if I drop them off and I pick them up, but maybe not. I'm not. Yeah. I don't know. I, still have I don't almost, think there's I anything wrong with you years. being cool with that. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're that type of mom. No, 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 no. You're a cool mom, Amy. Amy. You're a cool mom. Not like yeah, that, but I'm regular moms. I think yeah. it's totally <laughs> important to like embrace the fact that you can have different views from other people. Right. right. You know what I mean? Like just because I'd be like, oh, I'm not okay with that. I definitely think it's good to like with your girlfriends be like, hey, 
that's totally cool, man. Yeah. Like whatever, <laughs> whatever works it. for your family is right. what you gotta it's do. Good. And that's the mom guilt because then you're like, right. oh, I feel bad because I'm not that kind of parent. And it's okay because it works for you. Right. Yeah. yeah. The other thing is too, you know what's interesting is when people start posting things, you know, because we all get sucked into social media. Yeah. And you know, my kid is volunteering here and my kid's learning Mandarin and my kid's right. learning violin. And I'm right. thinking, and we kids, are lucky to uh, just get through right, it on right. a daily basis. Yeah. Like I lived Every today. <laughs> You know, we we're breathing, right. we're breathing, we're breathing. Yes. yes, yes, no broken bones. Yes, and we all ate a dinner. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah, I mean, and sometimes that dinner is Chick Fil A. I'm yes. gonna be totally honest with oh, you. Oh right, all. yeah, yep, it Absolutely. happens. And I have no, there's no shame in my no. game. I will roll through that drive through oh, yep. and be I, happy about it. We're the family that has four different dinners, and I always said that I would Are never really? do that. Yeah, yes. us too. And we're like a diner, but you know what? It works for us, they right? Eat and because happy. Henry has his menu that works for him, right? And we're not gonna mess with that. And we've worked very hard. It's well balanced. He's got everything in there. And if it's the same thing every night, cool. No problem. Yeah. And then I have the baby that I'm just like, just eat something. Just eat something. Right, Anything. right. Like we'll bread, make, sure. We'll Go. make dinner and Ella, who's eight, is very picky. Mm. This is disgusting. I'm not <laughs> eating this. Okay, <laughs> then go make yourself something. Make a sandwich. Right. But, you know you where know. the refrigerator yeah. is. And Get then it other done. nights, I'm like, oh, I feel bad. Okay, do you want some chicken tenders? <laughs> Okay, yeah. we'll right. make something. Depending you know, on your energy level. Depending on my energy yes. level, did I nap that day? Do I feel good? Yeah, and it's just what you can do, you know, mm -hmm. what you can do that day as a mom. By far, I loved all of these conversations all week, but today's conversation was my favorite. You know, really hearing their parenting styles, what they would do, and Britta, boyfriend at, at 13. 13. I am equally shocked. I know. But I it is more true. information. But when I was that age, at yeah. 13, I was going to the movie theater and I, I was hanging out with friends. But now right. that my nieces are approaching that age, my oldest niece is 12. Right. And it just seems, wow, they seem so young. I, I don't want them out of my sight, you know? Exactly. And, and our world was very different back then, right? Back then. But it, it's different than how our kids are growing up today. And, and I guess that's sort of where I'm feeling. I'm just not comfortable with that decision. I mean, if, you know, if it's happened, if I'm two rows behind him, I'll be okay with that. It makes you appreciate your mom probably even more though, right? Absolutely. As we get older, it's like, oh, well, no wonder my mom insisted on being my date to the Phil Collins concert. I know, right? Yeah. Thanks mom for everything. Thanks really. mom. We you love you. You really did know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> for the complete interview and more information, just head over to our website, HoustonLife.tv. That's where it is. Tomorrow we are rounding out our Momversation series with the best and worst parenting advice we ever received. Oh, Some I'm glad stuff. you're doing the worst advice as well. That'll be great. All right, looking forward to it.